Do 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 What's up, MJ? Did you run the um, notifications that we're going to be live today? Did we publish that? Oh, see? You ain't even telling people. They're not even expecting me. Too busy working. So you didn't tell them. That's okay. We'll see what happens. No worries. You know we can uh, pull it off. So. Yeah, I know. But you know how it goes. Look, people still, again, everyone's really busy. Everyone's got busy lives. Things are going on. So we got to remind them. Well, that's okay. What's up, everybody? Actually, I'm going to show you. I got this really cool gift today. I got it from the trip. Look at that. It's a journal. I thought it was really cool. When we were in Seattle, I picked it up. They say it really, it writes really nice on uh, this paper. Yeah, and then Maria, you got me going up against Jay Shetty. That's not even fair. Like, Jay Shetty's going live right now. And you got me up against Jay Shetty. That's so unfair. <laughs> Brian Rodriguez, what's up, man? Talk to me. Maria's cranking out proposals. Oh, there you go, recycled clothing paper. Thank you, Maria. See, you always have the right answers. Uh, Brian, what's up, brother? So, yeah, but uh, we're cranking out proposals. We actually, I've got to review something tonight. <laughs> My man say, help. I like that. Help. That's a good one. What's going on? What's up, brother? Oh, yes, Buffalo. Zucci. How do you say that name? Said, I've been trying to wrap my head around federal context for a year. That sounds like the kind of person I want to talk to. Fabian just joined us. Yeah, grinding. No, I get it. Listen. It's a grind. I, actually, so I'll tell you something interesting. Marie and I were talking today, and uh, I'm becoming more and more popular. A lot of people that I tried reaching out to last year, they uh, they didn't accept my request. They didn't, you know, they didn't respond. But now, those some people are reaching out to me. So, um, I hope that you guys catch on fast, Brian and Sushi, because you know, once we start, once everyone finds out. What's up, Tracy? Once everyone finds out, man, it's gonna this thing's gonna get a little bit more competitive. So, uh, you know, it's right now this this market is still wide open. It's still wide open. Uh, Maria has gone through multiple site visits. No one showed up. My boy, who's doing local contracts, he goes to site visits. Nobody shows up. I just don't. I guess me for me, there's a disconnect as to. Um, you know, why people are not getting opportunities because it seems like everyone I call that actually, you know, that, that reaches out to an agency, they're getting calls back, they're getting appointments, they're, you know, they're getting opportunities. So I just spoke to GSA this morning and uh, she's sending me over a package. <laughs> she said I should have it tomorrow. So small job, nothing big, but I mean, I'm getting calls, you know, people are reaching out. She says, I got till the 17th to uh, get it wrapped up. So, you know, I it's just like, uh, what's up, Justin? You know, so I, I just, I guess for me, I don't really understand. So that, you know, that's why I come on here to talk to everybody. 
to see what's going on. You know, where what, what's what's what are they, what are you guys seeing? What are you where you, where's your your obstacles, your pain points, struggles? What are people telling you out there? I can say this. <laughs> you know, I can say um, based on what I've seen from behind the scenes, uh, some of some people are still not doing the basics, the fundamental stuff, right? Like you know, getting professional emails, getting professional capability statements. There's a lot of that kind of stuff still happening out here, and you really just kind of shoot yourself in the foot. So, uh, a lot of times people are complaining about not getting results, but if you don't look professional, you don't look the part, dress the part, act the part, then you know no one's gonna give you a chance. And really, uh, we were just talking about that about an hour ago, and uh, Maria and I was saying how when we're listening to our calls with some of the students, how some people. Uh, seem a lot more confident than others, and then there's other people out there that you're like, uh, this person, they don't, you know, they don't come off as confident. And uh, if I were the government, I wouldn't give them a contract either. I wouldn't even give them a chance because they're, they're, you know, they're not. They're not confident in business. Not confident with their their service. They're not confident in what they offer. So, uh, you know, it's just it's, I don't know. I I really, I'm, uh, I'm, you know, I'm trying to find out. I I really do want to understand. Because if it's something that I'm doing or something that I can help or something that I can can help you prevent you from doing, I definitely want to do that. But I really do tell people that that uh, you know office furniture installations. So uh, you know office furniture installations. Uh, there's a, a ton of that. There's a ton of furniture installations. The Furniture installations, and, and which when you say you really find contracts for that, what you're telling me, and I can tell you already, uh, the issue is, is that you're looking for contracts to come out on Beta.Sam for furniture installations. Um, I can tell you right away, when you say you barely find contracts, when it, when and that goes for anyone. When anyone tells me, I do XYZ service or product, and I, I rarely see any contracts come up for bid, that's because you're only looking at contracts that come up for bid. What you have to do is find out because it, because again, and I've said this emphasis so many times that, and even in my new book that I'm writing, only about fifty five percent of all contracts go out for public bid, right? So where's the other forty five percent of the opportunities at? And there's some contracts uh, that never go out for bid. Like there's just some contracts that they never put out for public bid. So what happens is you are in a market, right, where a lot of those things aren't coming out for public bid the way that you're looking for them. And so that's why you're having a challenging time because you're being reactive, not proactive. And what we talk about is being proactive, meaning you go to the people who buy furniture installation, right? Don't wait for them to put a bid out. The call that I got that I well, I actually called her this morning. But the the job that I'm getting and the stuff that Maria does, and we talk about this all the time. None of this is public bid. I I get the phone call. I get the email. It's not public bid. You have to go out there and build the relationships. So, what I would do is again, who tell me which agency is doing furniture installations? Which agencies are actually putting in new furniture? Who does that right? And once you can tell me that, you can go backwards and figure out who's writing those kind of contracts. And then call them. Don't wait for them to put it out for public bid. Call them and find out when's the next time they're going to have an opportunity for doing furniture installations. And I guarantee you, again, if, if you're telling me you've got CAPE statement, email, past performance, the whole nine, right? If you call them, whoever is putting that out, and let them know that you exist, then they'll probably give you one without ever hitting beta.sam. And then you'll start to understand and realize like, oh, okay, that's what makes sense. Because we, you know, and I know that the government is doing that, right? Like we all know that the government is, is buying new furniture and, and doing furniture installations. In fact, last week's podcast guest, Danita, she's, she does all the moving contracts for the government offices so she's the one actually moving them from office to office. I guarantee you that uh, if I were to ask her uh, who's doing the furniture installation contract, she could tell me like that because there's someone doing it. Now, 
Uh, the only th- issue that I see with furniture um, is that on furniture, the uh, the prison system, they're the ones that actually sell a lot of the furniture to the government. They don't install it, but they sell a lot of that furniture to the government. So you may want to um, find out who that is. I forgot. I can't think of their name. I used to know it because I, I was offered some of these, these contracts in the past. But there's a the the whatever that there's a there's a furniture company that is made by like the prisoners, and that company if someone knows it just shout it out. If someone knows it, then that particular entity sells a lot of the furniture to the government itself. They buy from them. It's almost like when they buy from the blind or they buy from Goodwill Services. There's a a company that makes the furniture that the government buys. But you told me you do furniture installations, so. Again, you can still buy from them and install it because, again, they're prisoners, so they're not installing furniture. <laughs> they just make it. Um, but, yeah, that's that. Um, if you were to do that simple step, then um, I'm telling you, man, like, you, you'll see a world of difference. You'll see a world of difference. So, look, this week, this week alone, uh, I got three messages from students that won contracts. Uh, one yesterday was like 3.7 million. Another one, um, he didn't tell me. He just said he won a monster contract. And then another person thanked me for something that they won. So, like, they're giving out contracts to people that look like us, that look like the people that are on this call, that look like you, that look like, you know, Brian Rodriguez, that looks like Maria Martinez, that looks like Tracy, that looks like Justin. So, I mean, they're, it's happening. It's just a matter of like we gotta we gotta connect some more of the dots out there. So, what's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Somebody wants to go live. Let's do it. I'm down. Pamela Wiggins, mediator. Waiting. What's up, Barber World? I want to hit my man, Barber World. What's going on with you? Calpia. No, it's not Calpia. It's another one. Barber World, jump on, brother. I want to hear what's proper. Because uh, someone actually, Barber, someone recommended something for you on my YouTube page. I don't know if you, you talk about it. I guess this, this she can't get on. I'll wait for her. Barbara, jump on. Uh, do you have any I'm mediator? I tried to bring you in, but it didn't let me. Do it again. So let's see. T. Nicole says, do you have new people to government contracting taking your course? Yes. I mean, mostly everybody is new to government contracting has taken the course. Um, I mean, that's just, that's just the nature of the beast. Uh, have they won any contracts? Yeah. We have people winning contracts every day. Uh, how, how many of the new people won contracts? I guess it depends on how new is new, right? So new is a relative term. I think the, the latest, the newest person that I know of to win a contract, um, was probably a few months ago. Like one of the new, new, new people like that, that never did it before, probably a few months ago. So, but you, you can't, it's really, you can't measure it that way because um, what I say to folks out there is everyone's at a different s- cycle in their business. Some people are like the infancy stages, like for example, uh, Barber World, right? If I gave him an opportunity, he couldn't get it because he just said he got registered today. So how could he get, how could he win a contract if he's not even registered? Does that make sense to Nicole? Like it's, it's, it's hard to, you can't really measure the fact that uh, this person won a contract and this other people didn't because we don't know where each person is at in the stage of the game. Some people are still trying to figure out about a business. Some people have their business established. Some people have past experience. Some people don't even know how to estimate jobs. So it's like, you can't really like compare apples to apples with everybody and say, oh, this person is new because to me, and I'll be straight up, before I ever knew Maria, 
I didn't think I had to teach people about LLCs, S Corp, C Corps, incorporating a business. I didn't think I had to teach people about how to set up a uh, file with the IRS. I never thought that because all of my friends have businesses. My whole life, we've had since I've been in college, I've had corporations. So I didn't know, I was so disconnected from the regular world that I thought everyone knew what it took to set up a business. And, and now I have a, a different perspective because Maria was like, well, that's, that's not common knowledge. So for me, I took a lot of this stuff for granted. And even uh, from the perspective of getting registered in SAM, like, I just thought that people knew to do that kind of stuff, right? I, I to me, it was like, okay, maybe you didn't know how to do it, but I, I figured people knew to do it. Um, and that's why a lot of the stuff that I did in the beginning, I'm like, hey, this is, this is like, you know, some of the elementary stuff. And again, again, to me, and you have to excuse me, that that was my disconnection um, from the real world, free throw Frank. But so, you know, I just, now that I've, I've been doing this for three or four years now, I've talked to hundreds of people. I just realized that everyone is at, at their own pace and their own path. And it's kind of, you know, tough for me to measure um, people on the same page. I see blinds. I see a head. I don't see a head. <laughs> okay. We lost her. All right. Let's see. Yeah, mediator, Dr. Kevin Williams, come, jump back on. P Tech is a great starting point, Frank, but you're already past that. I'll be honest with you, Frank, you're past P Tech. You personally, not everybody, but you are. What's going on, man? Hey, Eric. How are you? I'm doing well, Eric. How are you? Tell me how to pronounce your name so I don't mess it up. <laughs> oh, it's, it's NT. <laughs> it's, 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 NT, it's, that's it. it? It's NT, and then my last name is Izuchi. Izuchi. Okay, that's yeah, cool. So, yeah, so NT. You can call me NT. All right, Izuchi. I'm trying yeah. to think Izuchi. What does that come to my mind? Oh, that's a Nigerian last name. Ah, okay, 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 okay. What's up, man? Uh, I'm doing well, man. Um, I've, I've been, you know, kind of following you for the past, I'd say, about two to three months, four months. Um, mm -hmm. I'd say about a year ago, uh, right around now, is when I kind of learned about government contracts for okay. like service businesses and things like that and so you know so i registered with sam got a duns all that um right. kind of good stuff and then um i think i was i was you know when i first learned about government contracts i learned about uh no bid contracts versus bidding contracts and yeah. so you know the first good. place that I, I dove into was the uh the new sam the beta website that's and, um, perfect that's good you know so uh so i'm, I'm based in boston I'm, I'm in boston mass and so are you really yeah, you know yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna be in Boston next week. Oh, are you really? I'm coming to Boston next week. Uh, is it for is it for like a uh, for business or is it for like yeah? I'm coming for business. I'm coming for business. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, well, plug in your phone, Holy. Uh, we'll jump back on Selena. Yeah, I'm actually I'll, I'm gonna be I'm coming. I'm gonna be in Rhode Island. I fly okay. in Monday, and then uh, we have an office in Newburyport, Mass. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we're gonna go to Newburyport. We're gonna go through Lowell. Oh, um, okay. That's just north. Yeah, that's that's yeah, like maybe thirty five minutes north. And then we're gonna we're gonna Newburyport, Lowell. Then we're gonna come down by the Charleston Town uh, Naval Yard. Yeah. Oh, oh, the name, yeah, yeah, Charleston. Yeah, we come right down by the Naval Yard. So, Charleston. I, live in, so I, I live in Chelsea, Mass, and that's that's like twenty minutes. Yeah, I know Chelsea. I yeah, know yeah, Chelsea. it's like fifteen twenty minutes from me. See, isn't that funny, right? I was just telling yeah. I told Maria that I was like, yeah, there's people up in the area. So I actually we have. I have another student that lives up in Boston. Actually, I think she lives up near Chelsea. But um, so we're going to get together and, and, and talk and stuff like that. I've been yeah. helping coach her. So, yeah, exactly. small, that's, a fun, that's a funny coincidence, right? I, this is, like, first time because I have – my contracts are up there in that area. Oh, okay. So I, okay. I consult with a company out of Rhode Island. And so okay. all of my contracts that I – like, when I give examples of my courses and stuff, mm -hmm. all of my – examples are from up there so i'm oh. working at i'm working at hanscom air force base i yo dude i've done assemblies on that same base i'm, do, I'm working at hanscom right now yes. okay i'm working at hanscom yeah. uh we're trying to get at fort devons in mass 
Okay, yeah, I know that is. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, I have. Uh, I'm working at Groton, Connecticut, the submarine base. We're working okay. at Newport Naval. Mm. Okay. I mm. just. I actually just picked up a uh, six million over at Newport Naval. I got a four million dollar IDIQ at Groton Sub Base. Man, man. I'm all around you. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm excited just to hear this, man. This is. I'm, it's this, a, hey, am I telling you your backyard? You, like you, you're right there. I'm man. All around you. You, you. I can't. I, I can't look around without seeing you. Obviously, now. I'm all around you. Yeah, we yeah. actually. You know, it's funny. I um, we did the uh, we we were negotiating to redo uh the Bunker Hill uh monument. Okay, that's right. You know where the Bunker Hill monument is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know exactly. It's a huge. It's the big. It's like uh, right there in uh, right in Charlestown. Yeah, right there in Charlestown. Right in Charlestown. Yeah, yeah. we were doing that. That we were you no know, because all the steps were were like messed up and and yeah. the rails were torn up and the, yeah yeah it yeah. was all it's raggedy. So we yeah, were and negotiating. It's got, it's got the big monument in the middle. And it's it's got the big park. monument in the middle. Yeah, yeah I know where that's at. Yep. Uh, yeah, yep. yeah. No parking yeah. around there because all apartments surrounding it. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah. It used to be in the past, but not anymore. No, no, yeah. it was terrible. So, so. I, I, Talk so to I, me. I, I got a, I got a question for you. Um, so, uh, so you mentioned obviously you're not. Where, you, where do you, you, you what, what state do you reside in? I'm in Florida, Florida. Okay, so you're, so you're in Florida. All right, yeah. so, so obviously my my company uh, was founded here in Boston, but I okay. branched out. I've got, I've got uh, some technicians in San Jose, San okay. Francisco, and also in Chicago. Okay. Right, so. Obviously, you can win contracts in cities and states outside of yours. So when it comes to, like, you know, hiring and stuff like that, so if you yeah. have a contract that's, you know, in low, wherever the, the case may be, sure. are you partnering with other local companies around here? Or how, how, are you, how do you go about doing that? So for me, um, I, I, yeah, I work with companies that are that, – the reason why I'm up there is because – we have companies that are like that's their that's their home foundation that like that's where their base is and they're big up in that area so i mm -hmm. partner with them and then they actually so they actually are the ones that i use their background their history all that stuff but they don't know how to get into the federal marketplace so i take and i'm one that actually does all of the the capabilities briefings i'm the one mm -hmm. that goes and meets with the people or at handscom all those all those places i've mentioned i was the first one in the doors you know, they okay. saw my face. Um, right, right, right. So I'm the first guy at the door. I'm the ones that pick up the phone and call. And so they saw me and my face for those okay. particular opportunities. Okay. So for, you know, a small business like myself trying to get their foot in the door, um, you know, what things do you think I should have, like, sort of lined up before I even start knocking on the door? Like, I know you mentioned, like, you got to no, look the part before. Yeah. yeah, you got to look the part. Well, yeah, yeah. because we had, you know, we had an incident yesterday where uh, one of my students called one of my podcast guests and um, he didn't, he wasn't, he didn't have, he had a Gmail account. I'll just okay. put out there. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the guy was like, that was the first thing the guy ripped him on. was like, dude, you got a Gmail mm -hmm. account. And the person that he reached out to, this guest does about 25 million a year. So it wasn't like a regular person. Like, so I always say to people, and, and we've all, we all know this, you get what, how many times you get to make a first impression? <laughs> and so your first impression, like, was that, was the guy schooling you on some mm. basic stuff of like, yeah, yeah, a Gmail account. Right. And, right. and I just, and then his capability it, statement, right? The whole thing, in the, and I never saw it, but the whole back of the capability statement was all black. And the guy's like, how would somebody print this? <laughs> like, how would you put an all black capability statement on, on paper? Uh, you, you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, yeah. And 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 then what happened was, so the guy did not know the stu the person knew me. So the the the, the owner said, like, "Hey, you need to go check out Eric Coffee at GovCon Giants." Like they sent him to me. They they sent it to you. I mean, you're the <laughs> you're the, the, like, the authority like, in the space right now, man. I mean, yeah. yeah. So he was like, "Look, you need to go see Eric Coffee at GovCon Giants." And then the, the, the person said, oh, yeah, I'm one of Eric's students. So I was like, dude. So I got the email chain back yeah, up yeah. to me. I mean, and, don't drop my name when you're using a right, Gmail, bro. Like, don't, <laughs> don't drop my name. Right. Yeah, you know, right. Don't drop my name, right? And so what, what, what ended up happening uh, was I basically, I put the guy on blast. And I, I sent it 
to the owner. I said, hey, look, I took a picture. I said, this is what I teach. This is this guy's curriculum. This is where he's at. He didn't do that lesson. So he yeah. elected not to do the things that I told him to do. Henceforth, like, he's not following my, I mean, yeah, he could be, I mean, just because you pay your money doesn't mean right. that you did no. the work. Did but the, work, the point right. I'm making is that a lot of folks take that kind of stuff for granted, and people are looking at all that. People are looking at that. And you really say, well, how, well what, what, what happened? What, what, you know, I don't understand. Why, you know, I call these people, I email them, nobody responded back to me. Yeah. A lot of people would not even told you what you messed up on. Right. They would just delete your email. Right, exactly. Because what's the point? What's the, what's you know, the point? Right. This guy's not Absolutely. serious. Well, you know, the thing for me, so, you know, I started my company uh, officially LLC'd in 2017. Okay. But I've been, you know, pretty handy all my entire life. Um, yeah. You know, I even went to school for engineering. But so, I, you okay. know, so we, we so we assemble all sorts of stuff. It, 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 indoor furniture, outdoor furniture, okay. uh, exercise equipment, uh, oh, nice. sheds, play school. So, you know, but I, 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 you know, when it comes to government contracts, I'm thinking, okay, you know, people buy office furniture all the time. You yes. know, it's just, it, 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 I know it, you know, it's they just do about it identifying. all the time. So, so in terms of like, like website, I think we have a, like a great looking website. No, no. Uh, but email, it's a, you know what the funny thing is? I always tell you don't even need a website. The website is yeah. not the part. Right, right, right. It's not even right. the website that you need um, because, because what they're looking at are their, see, people have to understand the government is really like rigid and they, and. Oh yeah. It, it, it's so that. funny. I was reading. Yesterday, I was on a seminar with Air Force Ventures, and they they liken the way that we do business is the same time during the Cold War. Mm. Like the Air Force said that on a webinar, that we're yeah. still doing business the same way we did during the Cold War. So what I'm saying, when I say that, I mean, they're not even looking at websites. They're not looking at anything outside of their system. Right, 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 right. So people are like, oh, I got this great website. I'm like, they're not looking at that. Looking at that stuff, yeah. If they you don't go, play it's in, you gotta play first within of all, their think rules, about yeah. this. The government is on a secure network. Are they allowed to browse the internet? That's true. See, people, I didn't think. I mean, I, I wouldn't even think, but most of us wouldn't think about that. I know that know. because we're trained, like twirl, click, twirl, click. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah it's like, yeah. oh, I got to. I, I never tell people you have to have a website. What right. I do say is, in Sam, you have to have a professional SBA profile. Right. So when you go to Sam you got to make your SBA profile match up. And not just professional, it has to have the keywords for your industry that they're searching for when they're doing market research. That's how you get an email. That's how you get a random phone call and a random email. Okay. How do you, you know do that? I actually lock in with you, man, honestly. Like, I... You know, I, I mean, you know, sometimes, you, you know, you, you, you watch the videos for, like, a couple months to get them warm <laughs> up, but, like... I'm sitting here. I'm watching uh, uh, some uh, NBA uh, uh, basketball right now. But I'm just. I saw your 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 live come up. I'm like, nah. I got, I got to come on and like get on the live. Nah, that's so. Where do like I, where where <laughs> no, do I lock in, man? Like I don't like where, like where do I? Where you like? Uh, of course. I, I saw. Yeah. I see you have like a ton of stuff. So I. I, I no, no. I mean, yeah. Look. Yeah. I no. I I got a course. Just visit my website, yeah. GupineGiants.com, and plug in. You know and. Uh oh, you dropped off. Yeah, no, go to my website, no. govcongiants.com. We've got a course that we sell there. And I'm telling you, you should get in because even like, I'll be honest with you, even the student that's up in Boston, you know, I met her, she's at Florida convention and she kept like, you know, wanting information. I'm like, yo, I, yeah, yeah. you know, the thing is, I have only so much time. Right, so I right, can only right, invest right. my time in people that invest with me. That, that just that's makes fair. sense, right? That's fair. You no, know? that's fair. That's fair. And so I'm like, look, I, you know, I don't mind helping, but guess what? Now, she's already won three contracts. Yeah, it's paid, it's paid for itself. It's done. You know, it, 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 yeah. Now, now you know what's funny because now when people see her, like we had our, our Tuesday calls with the group, when people see her, they're looking up to her now. Yeah. They don't know a few <laughs> months ago. <laughs> she was like. <laughs> And that's the funny thing is, it's like, you know, people look at her now and the issues that she has, it's is like, hey, okay, we got this project um, and the uh, the government, we submitted all the paperwork to start and it's at three different locations. And so what happens is um, the, one of the, 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 so when the government gives you a contract, the contract comes from an office, but they're not the actual users. Right. Does that make sense? 
So the they're user. procuring a contract for another building user, right? So uh, let's say you're going to do furniture. You may be doing furniture install for building, let's say, J. Yeah. But building people J don't write contracts. It comes out of a centralized office, right, for contracts. Okay. Okay. So now the user at J is like, yo, let, when y'all going to start? Like, right, right, right. Yeah, we're ready to go. Go, you gotcha. got the contract, right? Now you are like, well, I submit all the information to the contracting office. They haven't sent it back to me. Yeah, I'm waiting. For, you know, you're waiting for the proper paperwork to right. come in before you can right. start because they're the ones that give you the go ahead. So yeah, what right. I'm, the point I'm making is she's at that level now of problems. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I see. she already moved past y'all level. Yeah. <laughs> she's at the next phase. She's not uh, on the live no more. <laughs> no, no, no. She's <laughs> asking, not on the live. asking questions. She's uh, she's like, how do I respond to this? Right. What's? But she's right. already done four or five contracts, and not only that. Because of it, um, you know, and, and I do this for people that, like I said, I, I I got a message about an hour ago from one of my students. He needed a re reference, a referral. I gave him a referral. Right. No, like, dude, if I give you a referral, they're going to say yes. Gotcha. Oh, wow. They know you like you like that, huh? I'm just saying, like, if, I mean, I can show my whatever you want me to show. I can show wh whatever. So face card. That's, yeah, that's, that's what, what you call face card. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> like, I don't you don't show ID, just show my show my face. <laughs> whatever like, whatever you want me to show, I'm telling you. you. And and even still, like let's say uh um uh, let's say for example, in some of the projects you have to actually buy the furniture to install it. Yeah. Right? Um uh, and you have to get vendor credit or supplier credit. Mm -hmm. I give you I give references for that with my company. Okay. okay. So and Maria, she's right there. We give people references all day. Gotcha. So, you know, I offer that because I know what it takes when you're getting started. Like, I know the stuff that you need. You know, like, other you, people are not going to do that for you. I you understand know what? what you need. You said, you said something really interesting, because this is something else that I was thinking. Because at first, I was like, you know, for the, like, the, I, I'd say for the last six out of the 12 months, like, and it was kind of like, like, the first, like, three or four months, I was, like, head down, just getting on my, like, the back end stuff, like getting my right. Sam, I'm good. And then, you yeah. know, I wasn't finding the furniture uh, installation um, right. contracts. I, and I'm sure, and I'm sure I wasn't doing it properly. Like do, by no means, I'm not saying like I was doing everything right. No, no, no. I thought I'm like, wait a minute. But then I thought I'm like, wait a minute. So if I'm if I'm if I'm trying to provide a service for assembling or installing the furniture, someone is selling the furniture too. So then yeah. I got me thinking like, yeah. what if I it could, could this be something that I can add on to my sort of business where it's like I'm selling, I think, this, I I'm think selling the you, furniture? I think you would have to do that. I think you almost would oh. have to um, mm. because they may not, that may be the only way that they procure it is, okay. you know, sell and install. Okay. I, I, don't, okay. I don't see them procuring it separately, but right. um, from, for if, if it were me, the strategy would be you'd have to work as a sub to people who actually sold the furniture, mm -hmm. which again, that could be one aspect of your business. Right, 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 right. Okay, because look, I made a lot of money as a sub. I actually mm -hmm. think being a sub is sometimes, and a lot of times is better than being a prime because you don't have the full responsibility and headache of all of the compliance right. things. So it's right. like, hey, you guys, you know what? You got the contract, y'all bring me the furniture, whatever y'all bring, I assemble it. Boom, 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 I'm out. Right. So a lot of times that might actually be easier or better um, than actually getting the prime. But in, but I just, what is that? I I, I had it in my my tongue. There's I, I'm gonna I'm gonna think of that that name. You're talking uh, about the the, 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 the company, uh, yeah, the company. It's, company like, it's like Unicor or something like that. Um, it might be that actually. That Might be unicorn. Familiar. You ever seen unicorn? It, it sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. It's something like like unicorn or something okay. to that effect. That okay. Got if it. you if you start for okay, so for furniture, you have to look at your PSC code for furniture. Okay? okay. When you find your PSC code, go back into FPDS, and I bet you you're gonna see who it is. I mean, I could do it in two seconds if I had the another PSC device. Code, the, that's not the NACE code you're saying. No, right? NACE code is different. PSC codes for products. So oh, you're gonna okay. do PSC for your furniture stuff, and then I and I'm telling you, you're gonna see it's I think it's Unicorn or something to that effect that 
they're the ones that provide all the furniture to the government. But again, they still need people to install it. You could no, hook up with them. Absolutely. Yeah, you could hook up with them and then be their official installers. I mean, I did. You know what I did? I would compare that to. I used to do a lot of floors. Okay. I did a lot of flooring contracts. And mm -hmm. I would buy the flooring, but I would not install. I would hire installers to install it. Right, right, right. Okay. And so that's 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 my comparison to what you're saying. Gotcha. Like, I mean, I, we never installed it. We just we would buy it. Right. Because it was, you know, I would get it set up the accounts, but then we'd have installers install it. Gotcha. So, gotcha. Um, like I get the. I, so I, I mean, I'm I'm really understanding the concept behind everything. It's just. You know, it's. It, it, I, I feel like it's so vast that it is. There's gonna be a gazillion questions in between, it, and that's that's, that's why what's gonna like, and that's what happens. Yeah. And yeah, that's, yeah. you but know, that's, and that's really that's why. Honestly, I, you know, I tell people when people try to sell you like a webinar or a weekend session, okay, yeah. then what's next? Like what's, what's next? That, you still got, like I said to you, she got the contracts and she's won contracts. But then what if you ever run into a situation where you, you know, like, okay, Eric, I got another question. Like now this is happening. Right. You get me like, so that whatever yeah. the 500 bucks you spent for the weekend webinar or, or for you know, like, it doesn't help you at the next step right. because yeah. then what happens when you come to me? Cause I can tell you already, you said, Eric, you know what? I think I could do this nationally. Mm. How do I do that? Like, what's the plan right. for that? And yeah. Truck and Justin that was just on, you know, that's kind of what we're talking about with him is rolling out a program nationally. Uh, mm -hmm. I've seen someone do that with carpet before where, and I'll tell you what, no, I, you know, so I'll tell you what I've seen with a guy I did with carpet, a young kid too. Uh, he, I mean, his kid, like I was like 29 and he was like 24. And I even asked him, I was like, yo, how did you pull that off? Because <laughs> he, he, he was he was doing carpet all over the country, yeah. so I'm like, bro, how did you do? How did you do that? And what he had the government do? Check this out. I'm gonna give you this since you jumped on. So that's what. See, by the way, that's what happens when people jump on. They get the real stuff. So yeah. look, <laughs> can't be scared, man. You can't be scared. Can't be scared. Nah, you can't be scared. Right. I'm I'm at, I'm here for y'all. Like I got I got other stuff to be doing right now. Like I'm here for you guys. So, I've been on listen, a ton of your, your lives, man. I've been on a ton of your YouTube yeah. lives. Dude, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I, so, you understand why I don't feel sorry for y'all? If I'm making no. the content, making the videos, y'all can, the least you can do is watch it. Watch it, right. I mean, think about I'm the one. <laughs> people are like, oh, Eric, you got too many videos. I made them videos. Yeah, you I, have a so lot it of was videos. Enough, so, it was, it was good enough for me to make it, but not good enough for y'all to watch it. Like, no. I'm the one. All the podcasts, all the guests, all of the content, all of the, I'm the one spent all of my time making it, but they're like, oh, I'm too busy. Oh, I got too much going on. But I made the content. But nevertheless, going back to the story. So the kid, what he did was he started right here in Florida. And he started winning contracts to install flooring. And what he did, and this is the same kind of contract I have in Connecticut, is that he went to the Air Force and he said, um, hey, Unicorn. Yes, there you go, this Maria. Unicorn. Yeah. See, I see unicorn. Unicorn, see? that is it. Yep. That's that was right. Unicorn. See, that I know. Familiar. Look, I know. Yeah. Unicorn. <laughs> I was like, that sounded about right. Unicorn. Sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Spooky said, I, you know, really, really, because I don't know anybody that's talking about government contract like you. No, that's true. Uh, not in depth no, like you, man. Not in not, depth. Okay. No, not because no, they no. only have so much information. They got limited. So they can't come on and lie and live and talk every week because they're going to run yeah. out of stuff to say. Yeah, <laughs> you gotta see right. how yeah, <laughs> you gotta see how little amount of information they really have. I mean, yeah, you yeah, came on right. talk about furniture. I called out the people who make the furniture stuff. That, that, that's never happened before. I've I've, <laughs> I've I've reached out to some people and that you know, but not as in depth. And, and at the same time, they they don't have nearly as much content. So I not that they're not a believable, but I didn't see them as as knowledgeable as you because you you've got like not. you've got You're like gonna... an encyclopedia worth. Like full of like videos. I just stuff. listed every place around where you live at, where we work at. Yeah. No, you you you're you're definitely New England, I'm, man. Because you, I mean, you, you just mentioned somewhere that's literally about ten miles from me. You know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. So going back to so what this guy did was, he started getting these contracts, and he told the Air Force he was like, "Hey, um, instead of and this is and 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 by the way, Maria just pulled the same." stunt the other day mm. on, a, on a job right she she got it from mm. me mm. and and by the way everyone listening any one of you can do this okay so take notes pay attention 
what happened was they kept giving out contracts, contracts, contracts. So what we do is we say, hey, look, rather than keep writing all these contracts, how about let's just write one big blanket purchase order, right? And then what we do is every time you need carpet, you just use a t call a task order against that purchase, oh. that BPA, right? Oh. And so now you get it approved once, the BPA for the funding, and then every time you got to get carpet, you know, they would pull against that. And he brought that to the government. Wow. And they said yes. And they bid on it. Wow, man. And so he ended up winning. Uh, and you see this with roofing and some other jobs. Uh, I was going to do the same thing with steel buildings at the time. Is he, They ended up giving him an IDIQ, which is an indefinite delivery, indefinite quantity contract for flooring all over the country. So now, anytime any of these bases want to do flooring, they had this vehicle that they could just call and say, okay, here's a task order. How much is right. the price? We'll charge it against this contract. Right. Okay. And so you could do the same thing with furniture. Mm. Got it. Okay. You, that. Dude, that's just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know, I know. I know. It's, it's not, that's like. <laughs> Look, that's like no, but 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 I but I but I but I appreciate it. I, like that's what I want to hear. It's inspiring. It's it's that's you know, it's, it's you know that's and it, and again, I don't know if GSA may already have some furniture stuff out there that you could piggyback off of. Okay, so GSA may already have a vehicle for furniture that you can kind of piggyback on. Um, and another thing that we do is we match people up in a group. Like we match folks up with with other people that are doing stuff. So uh, mm -hmm. I have people right now that have GSA schedules that are just, they're sitting there. So we could even tie into a schedule that someone may already have to do this stuff that they're not utilizing. I got one more question before I jump out. Cause I'm sure there's other people here that might want to have questions and stuff like that. No so one, one of the things that, um, that I ran yeah, Rob, into. Rob's right. Everything is going to consolidate. Correct. He's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's one thing I will say that this administration is doing is they are consolidating and bundling contracts, yeah. but I'm okay with that because you just get on the consolidated vehicle. Oh, it's don't, right. Just get on the get, get on the don't, train. Like, don't. It's not yeah. going to be mad about like. Right. Look, just jump on the train. I, <laughs> I personally, I personally in Groton, Connecticut, I did the same thing. So I have a five-year, four million dollar IDIQ at that submarine base. Damn. Well. Hopefully I can uh, I can sing the same song in the next you know little bit. Talk to me. But, but I I got I got one question and then I'll get off your live because I'm sure there's other people I want to jump on. So mm -hmm. one of the things that and I'm sure this is kind of, this is kind of human nature and I'm sure a lot of the folks on here can relate to this. Um, when you're learning about government contracts, there's so many terms in that yeah. like I'm just like oh my god like what is the, what are they talking about and yeah. it's. It, 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 it's it's a little defeating because it, 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 it kind of puts into perspective like where, you know, you know kind of where you are where on you that are, spectrum, yeah. like, and how much you do need to learn. And I know with time some of these things just become second nature, but what do you yeah. say to us who kind of jump into it and you're learning about it, but there's all these terms and all these different things that you're like, wait, what does that mean? You got like, it. How do you overcome that? Because I'm sure that's, that's stopping a lot of people. Like, it does. Example, you could be does. on a hot track and then all of a sudden you run into a bunch. No, no it does. For, and, yeah. and you know, the thing is, which, which also the government knows uh, your level of competency based on that as well. Yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Right? Sure. They can tell sure. based sure. on your if you're not proficient in using a, that vernacular, they're like, no, yeah, that's man. Bad. He, I, he, yeah. right. You know, like they know that. Yeah. Um, and, and, and that's true. And that's why, you know, what I tell people is that I, what I try to do is build all my people up to where you can speak that lingo. So when you call, they separate you from the rest of the people. Right, 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 like, right. They are, I say, okay, this guy, he, 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 he's got his stuff. And that's, and that's why I was so big on like the email. Like if this guy had listened to me, and had a professional email, professional Kate and the stuff, he would have been having a much more engaging conversation right. with this person than right. fix. It gave me like, he would have got much more out of the conversation, much more. Maybe they could have partnered together. Maybe they could have worked on some projects. You got me? Maybe he would have gave him a subcontract. Absolutely. Absolutely. But for the fact that he didn't take that time to do those activities, and again, yeah. he's another person that claims to watch me. It's not enough to watch. You have to actually get yourself together, get ready, like do right. the things that we're telling you to do. Because right. uh, you know how many times that it, I tell people, the government will, like, I, I mean, I can almost guarantee, like, 
we can put a contract in your hands, but then you might not. You'd be like, ah, oh, well, you know, I didn't. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't do my tax. Your like, cold feet, so, man. Look, we had something like you know, we had this guy two weeks ago. We we saw we met with him, and we're like, yeah, man, like we're gonna do some stuff. I'm like, yeah. He's like, he's like, I got all my stuff together. I'm like, yeah. He's like, nah, I'm I'm good. He found out the man ain't did his taxes in two years. Yeah, come on, man. You gotta be current. <laughs> You, okay, you one, year, one year, one year, one year I give. Okay, last year because of COVID, no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn. But before COVID, the year before that? Damn, man. How you so, going to do, you're working with the federal contract, but you're not up to your, on your federal taxes. That's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, So man. what I'm, I, yeah. I honestly, I see a lot more of that than where mm. I see, uh, I see more self-defeating. Right. Than I see the government defeating us. Right, right. Right. I because think if you do the stuff, forget. if you do yeah. the stuff, you'll get a chance. But go ahead, people I think a lot of, I think a lot of people kind of forget that because uh, when you think federal contract, you think like this big machine. But at the end, but the, at the end of the day, you're 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 communicating with people. You know what I mean? You're communicating with people, and you'd be surprised. You get on the phone, and it's just like, oh, this person's like average Joe. Like <laughs> I can tell you know what I mean? Like they're listening yeah, to me. If I, if I come correct, and I have my if you my come correct. Time, and and I look more legit, well, look more legit or look more yeah. organized than the rest of the people. You're gonna they're right. gonna be like, yes, yeah, please, like we're willing to work with you because it right. seems like you're. So I, I, think, I think that part. I agree yeah. with you. I, I'm yeah. telling you, the majority of folks, you don't you wouldn't do business with them yourself. Right, right, right. <laughs> like you, you would not do business with you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> like with, that's another thing you got to think. Like would I do business with with, with myself? Me? Like, yeah. No. No. Absolutely. One hundred percent. Like, I mean, okay, let's just pretend, right, that you received a random Gmail email. What do you think about that? Uh, I've, Dumb, even for my, even spam, for my company. From your, yeah, right. Spam. I don't even, yeah, no. I don't even respond to those. Even for our, if, someone, people, if someone sends me something from a Gmail, I think it's spam. Yeah. No, everything is info at my company or my name at my company. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's, so, that's, that's like you said. Though. If we just do our own, like, checks and balances and say, yeah, yeah. How do I perceive myself? Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And, that, and that's kind of where I'm telling you, where I, where, where I really thought I didn't have to say this to people. <laughs> yeah. Because I thought, I'm like, look, use me to teach you some real techniques and tactics. tactics not right. set up an email account. For your Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> you get me like, you it was a real. You, we, I, weekend warrior, weekend warrior at gmail.com. Like you can't you can't come with that, man. No, I, so uh, that's kind of like you know, and that's where I, I honestly I'll be honest with you. I think a lot of people, uh, it's self defeating, man. I think really, they come on, they'll complain to to you or your friends or whoever listens to them complain and why, and uh, and then if you go back and do some real research, you'll figure out like, yeah, oh well, that makes a lot of sense why that happened to yeah. you, okay. But people because we're so um, more like uh. How do you call it? We're so like nice and oh, you feel bad for them and and like my yeah. guy said, you want to coddle them. It's like oh, that's terrible that they that happened to you. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's so bad. Instead of saying, well, what did you do? Like, what did you what do? Because if you come to me, I'm gonna say like, what did you say? When people say, oh, Eric, I sent out a bunch of emails and nobody responded back to me. I'm like, okay, send me the email. For me, me, we can send them. Let me see it. Yeah. And then you look at it and you go, well, look what you wrote. <laughs> Look what you wrote, man. Like, I'm like, look what you wrote. Who's oh, going to that? say that? Right. I've had people on this live send me a message in text and says, oh, how do I find contracts? I'm a woman on business. I said, well, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> Think about it. Yeah. So, yeah. so if we are sitting, communicating that to the agencies, to prime they contractors. They ain't got time for that. What it, you want them to, to be as patient and understanding as myself? No. Mm -hmm. They're not gonna mm -hmm. do it. They gotta weed through You're gonna they, delete. They, if they gotta pull delete, teeth to get the like, delete. Yeah, delete. Yeah, no. Maria Absolutely. and I talked about it. We we've had we've even some of our people, uh, we're trying to figure out the name of their companies. They've sent us emails, but we don't even know the name of the company. How can you send an email? I don't know the name of your company. You don't have a, you don't have a footer? Nothing. Basic stuff. So, so you, you get it. 
A you. lot. Of, I'm telling you, a lot of this stuff is not anything. Com it's not the government contracted piece that we're we're falling where we're missing. Right. That's not it. Right. I'm telling you, it's not the government contracting piece. Mm -hmm. Because when you get all your stuff together, the government contracting piece comes together. It's that's not it. it. Yeah. When you stuff all together, I mean, it's an alley oop. It's 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 just you know, yeah. It's Absolutely. not. That, I'm telling you, it's not the government contracting piece. Well, I'll, I'll I'll say this before I jump off. Um, I mean, I'm I'm pretty much sold. Like I said, like I'm sitting here and I, I saw the live go off. I'm like, I'm gonna go on and I'm gonna request to go live, talk to him, ask him some questions. Um, I'd rather do that than send you an email or you know send you. That's a, the best way to do it. Where it's like, yeah, no, this, oh, of course, of course. Like you know, this, people send me a five paragraph email. I'm like, really? You really want me to read that? <laughs> No, 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 no. It's like, it's like lock in first and then, and then, you know, make it and worth your time. Because I'm sure, because like you want to help people, you want, you, you, you want success stories. You want good students, you know, that's, that's, I want that's the students. Thing. I don't want, yeah. look, I'm not here to take people money. No, Listen, no, if no, you're not going to, no. I'm not, I'm not like a gym. The gym wants all people to sign up and never go to the gym. Right, right, right. I'm not. That's a, very, <laughs> that, that, that's a, that's a, that's a good way to put it. That, that's, that's how gym gyms are. They're they like, want all y'all to sign up and nobody to show up. Yep, I'm not. Yep. We can do stuff. Oh, he left. All right. So we're here. Did my um my people go away that want to jump on? Dun dun dun. All right, we got about eight minutes left before they close me out. So definitely, um, let's talk. Let's wrap. Figure out what you guys. Maria, that the, uh, the young lady that asked. Ah, uh, no worries. That's cool. Your phone died. I mean, that's good. We, I think, we already went through the motions. So I mean, I kind of gave you the blueprint. I told you what you got to do. So that's cool. Um, no, thanks for coming on. I'm glad you found that, Maria. What was the other name, Maria, but of Unicorn? They changed it to something else. FEMA contracts. FEMA contracts. You just have to register with FEMA. They'll send you contracts. It's, it's you know, but the issue you have to have or you will have is that, um, most of the time, like I say, we're the ones that are not ready. The government will give us a chance, but we're not ready. If and again, I don't know if she's on right now. Um, one girl, one truck, but you know she she was she had registered with FEMA. Um, and what happened was FEMA called her right, and they told her that she needed they needed like seventy trucks in like the next four days to make a run across country and they're paying five bucks a mile and she could you know she could oh there she is why don't you jump on so you could talk to these people oh federal prison industries yeah that makes sense maria yeah it's unicorn um federal prison industries so yeah so she uh she she she's on i tell that story all the time but she was registered with fema they called her up. They wanted a whole bunch of trucks, and she couldn't. You know, it was just too much. So what I think, what I think. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. <laughs> hey, what's, what's up? up? What's up? Yeah, I'm driving and I'm in the dark. That's why I don't jump on. Like, don't that. worry. The trucking see. people know you driving, so your trucking people they know you driving. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Look, so. see, they want to hear about your FEMA story. Tell them because yeah. you know I tell that story so much. Um, mm -hmm. I know. Tell, tell them the story. <laughs> I'm, I know. I'm there. I'm trying to get some light on me so y'all can at least try. Look, to I got something. five minutes before I oh, cut me out. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I mean, listen. What we'll do, if anything, if the mm -hmm. nine o'clock hits, we'll come back on. That's for everybody watching. We'll just jump back on again, okay? Okay. So okay. when 9 o'clock hits, I'll save it, and I'll come back on, and then we'll just start over. But go ahead. Tell them the FEMA okay. story so they all know, because I, people ask me all this time and stuff, and you, but you got to tell them. I want you, someone to come from somebody. 
Look, you in a truck, you can show them the real deal. So tell them what Yeah, happened. man, I'm in the truck driving right now. I just pulled <laughs> over under a street light so y'all can see me a little bit. <laughs> anyway, okay. but I am driving. Anyway, yeah, FEMA um, does accept. Um, they, they do approve transportation service providers. You have to sign up. I signed up as a carry. I'm truly one girl, one truck. I'm one right. girl, one truck. Yep. Um, they um, approved me as a carrier with my one truck. Okay. I had no idea of the magnitude of some of the offers. They will do one truck, you know, they come through right. like that. But my first offer as an approved carrier was for 51 loads that had to be moved from Tracy, California to um, uh, Selma, Alabama in three days. They wanted them picked up like <laughs> now and moved. And I'm like, no, I can't do that. I don't have the capacity for that. I got one truck. So, right. but as a broker, I would be able to do that. So right now, I just opened a new brokerage. Uh, it's but let me ask open. you this. How much were they yeah. paying? How much were they paying? Uh, they got that, that deal at $7 a mile. Oh, I didn't seven. add it all up. Yeah, Sorry, I thought it was five a mile. A mile. Seven no, a mile. Yeah, it was like seven bucks a mile. The, the person who, the, whoever got it, got it at seven bucks a mile. So, you know, add up the miles from Tracy, California to Selma, Alabama times 51 trucks uh yeah that's what that deal was gonna be or, or was somebody got was. that deal right, actually. Got they actually but they got called you but they called you and gave it yes to you. i did get the offer i could okay. i could have jumped right on it i could have done it but so you know. and, and part of what i try to tell people is that they have to get ready right you got to be yes, ready absolutely. because we what in our group don't we have other people that got offers like that 40 people come to work like the government yeah. buys big. They're not buying small. They buying big. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lady that the, the the janitorial. Yeah, big ups to her. Yeah, she had to hire the forty people. Forty in the, people in three days. In three. Oh my God, that's so you pressure. had fifty loads get to move in five days. Absolutely, and yeah. Well, it was three days. It had be. Oh, had so be they like three. three so days. three days they number. They like three days. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They wanted for three days. Right, right. But but the trucks would have had to be ready. I would have been had to have been able to get them. So as a broker, I'll be able to do that. And okay. there was no way for me to be prepared for that until right. I got in and saw the office. Saw. Right, right. Yes, yes. Right. Now I know what to do, and so that's where I'm at now. So I'll be okay. a broker and a carrier. All right, right good. So, yeah. And and you're gonna be leading the Facebook group that we start. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. And I'll be able right. to tell everybody else what they need to do as well. Okay. So All yeah. Right. Good yeah. Stuff. No, I thank you for sharing because like I said, I mean I I no one can tell a story better than you. Uh, there you go. There you go. It's your hey. story. So I'm glad you came on and you hey, shared. Hey, where with my people. truck is at? Where my truck is at? Come oh, on. Come on. You know, look, look, imagine if, if everyone was talking, right? At the yes. same time, we could have pulled that off. Uh, there you go. If we got carriers in the group, I could have hit them up. We could have gone and pulled this thing off. Yeah. But what I'd like to do, I don't have a single government contract right now, so I would love for us to be learning together. But I do know trucking. I know how to get you ready right. in your trucking area so that okay. you can accept the contract. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Have be a good. good. All right. Bye. All right. Sweet. Thanks. All right. Bye. All right. That was exciting. I like that. Huh. That was exciting. So there you go. I, I'm I, look. I'm telling you, the the biggest challenge that I see with people out here is that you're not ready. It's not the government's not ready. It's not the government's not giving contracts. It's not that um. You know, in perspective, wow, eighty cents to a dollar mile is good. Wow. I did not know that. So she, so they're getting seven times the regular rate. Oof. Thanks, thanks, Brian, for giving me that perspective because I, I, I never knew. Um, one girl, one truck is her IG name. One girl, one truck. But we're gonna we're actually launching an all new Facebook group. So stay stay tuned, keep following, keep watching, because uh, I, we're because we're so much interest in that that particular space that. Um, we're launching all new Facebook group because it's funny because actually all of the, the new, I mean, all of the big YouTubers that are in trucking, man, they started following me um, recently. So like, it's, I, I guess there's a huge demand and we want to help. I mean, look, I'm, I want to help if we can help, you know, bring, I don't know, two, three, 400 trucks, 500 trucks uh, online, then, you know, we, that's what we want to do. So, 
Uh, somebody said you should have called me. I went full tilt finding them trucks for that contract. I, and, and, but, and I agree with you. And that's why we have to talk and communicate with each other. Okay. Because it's, it's so easy to talk about foolishness. Um, but when it comes to